What is going on guys, Casual Savage here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to blur out moving objects on Sony Vegas Pro 12. Okay, so I'm just going to head and drag a clip from my Omegle trolling. Or oh, I've already got it in. Yeah, I've already got it in. So I'll just shorten the clip just to make it a bit quicker. So, got the clip. We do what we done last time. We insert a new video track. If it's got audio, we press U on the video clip. Press Control C. We click onto the top one and click Control V. So, two videos, one sound. Sound doesn't really matter. It doesn't play any factor in this. So, the top video clip, you want to click, well, go to the start and click Event Pattern Crop should get this come up uh... yeah so that's me by the way i'm gonna blow out my cousin here so we're gonna click mask now obviously it's a face so it's more oval so we can use the oval mask here and if we get it about there uh... just fix it up just gonna do a little quick one here so it might not be the best but there we go. Now I want to go to video effects and we want to scroll down until we see pixelate. Uh, there we go. Just add the default one on. Okay, so if we just start changing it, you can see his face is now becoming more pixelated as I change it. So we can put it maybe pixelated, you can't see anything on it. Now a thing about this, this is does take quite long because you will have to move along with the video as you can see here. So it's still in good position. Still in good position. He's moving off a bit there. So what we do, we click here. We drag this to the side a bit. Just move along again. Oh, okay. So about there, we have to move it down again. About there. And keep moving so it's oh he's coming back up again and I think that is done yep that is done so that is how you do it so again we'll just go through that very quickly drag a clip in then you press U on the video clip then you press Control C on the selected video clip as well. You insert a new video track. You then go and paste that other video track here again. Then with the top video track, you press the event pan and crop. You then press mask. Then you use the oval tool, the uh, this creation tool, or you can just go ahead and use a rectangle. It's up to you. It depends what your object is. So then you just do it in from the start and then you just go through the video to where the person's actually moving so if he moves there you want to go ahead and move this, this part here in the correct position so as you can see it is moving at the same time and that's what these are here these are keyframes and yeah that is how you do it so I'm gonna go ahead and render the video and show you the final output we're back, back again Again, we've gone back to the Swedish girls. Yeah, I think I think the other the other one didn't. And yes, being casual savage here. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe, rate, and peace.